Hello and welcome to the Be Smart About Art show. My name is Susan J. Mumford. I'm your host and today for the second time now since we launched the show just about two weeks ago now, um, we have found that actually we've not been successful um, in streaming the show uh, from Zoom to Facebook. So it's quite an interesting situation. I'm just going to double check that I'm actually the right way up on Facebook because it does strike me that I have left my phone vertical and you know sometimes that works sometimes that doesn't work on various platforms if you are live feel free to comment say where you are coming in from I'm always interested to discover where around the world uh, people are based and also say kind of what you're up to right now um, things are still happening and different people are in different situations as we found in the Be Smart About Art show this past Sunday when I kicked off the week. Uh, one thing is that we recognize that different people are in different situations and that's really very, very important indeed to recognize. And it does look like it is working, but interestingly, what it's done on Facebook is it's given kind of me vertically there, I can see that, and then it's got kind of a band around me to make it a square. So we're always learning when it comes to running shows online and particularly at this point in time, when the world has suddenly gone online. Now, after this call, I, for one, am going out for my daily exercise. I'm going to go for a very enjoyable walk in East Sussex, where I live in England, although you can hear an American accent, or maybe it's um, transatlantic, mid-Atlantic, posh American, funny since I'm from Arkansas originally. Uh, so it is important that we actually still go out and experience the world around us as well, as much as we can, as much as we're able, depending on our circumstances. But when everyone has been jumping online so much, or so many of us have been, it is causing a lot of demand. And sometimes, as I've now experienced, things like streaming from Zoom to Facebook Live doesn't work. And I'll tell you what that means. I know that when I show you the whiteboard of what we're addressing today, it's going to be backwards for those of you watching on Facebook Live. Now, I'm going to tell you why that's happened. It's to do with the camera in my smartphone. In my iPhone, the front camera is set to be a selfie camera. And what that means is that the way it appears is to me going to look like it looks like to me. Um, it's kind of reversing it. So it looks backwards to you, but on the Zoom recording, this is going to look right. So we're learning all kinds of things and I'm here to teach you just for the same, in, in the same way that I set up Be Smart About Art to help people thrive in a changing art world. I'm here to help you now in this ever increasingly changing art world. And today is hashtag Be Smart About Art question time. Now this is an opportunity for our members over, over at patreon.com forward slash be smart about art to send in their questions in advance. And I always answer as many questions as I possibly can. If you're not yet a member, do go check that out. And I, for everyone who's watching this, I'm going to be answering the three questions as follows. What is a call to action? What's your call to action? It's really important, also known as a CTA. That's the acronym. It is so important when you're using online for communication. So hang on and I'll answer this shortly and get you thinking about your answer. Second question is, how can I put these social? into social media. That question actually resulted from a mentoring session that I was doing with an artist earlier today and that resulted from a recent webinar of the Art Biz Bootcamp which is now going to next be taking place in 2021. And the third question for today's session is how do I get more followers that's focused on social although we're going to more widely apply that as well. Great to see one of my friends watching us live. Hello, and I'm wondering where you are. So please say where you're coming in from right now. So what is a call to action? Well, a call to action is essentially what you're wanting to prompt people to do. So if you, let's say it's your about page on your website. So this can apply to social. I was thinking about it with social, but it applies so much to any kind of digital comms. So on your about page, great. Somebody reads all about you. They get to feel like they know you. They see a little picture of you. Uh, it could even be your bio page for people who have a bio instead. At the bottom of, of the main chunk of writing, you might have it split into different sections. You might just have one little section. There are different ways you could set up that page. Where do you want that person to go next? That's where you can have a special little line that says, check out my most recent work and have a page. See the latest in the gallery 
and you could have that that link whatever it is you want you want to help curate the person's experience and I think it's the exact same thing when it comes to social media so the way that this came up in conversation earlier today with one of our members is she was saying Susan um like how exactly do I get people to buy from me on Instagram and I said well one of the things you definitely want to be doing is to do a CTA at which point she went what and I said you want to make a call to action I said it's really nice people go to social media they enjoy seeing lovely images they like reading things that's really nice how do you know that what you're presenting is actually available for purchase if at all what's the price are you available to be commissioned if you're a curator or a gallerist is work you're presenting can you sell that uh, are you able to arrange to have an artist say can be commissioned for a piece for the individual what you really need to do even though it's so obvious to you is to say to people is it available can something else be commissioned that kind of thing feel free to list a price that can work extremely well for people i know many gallerists and artists alike you've tried that and say on there providing you're interested, get in touch, or I'd love to hear from you. And you can encourage people to direct message you. You could also encourage them to email you to click the link in the bio. What's the call to action? And that's a great example. When you see, say, people putting on group exhibitions, and we're still seeing this online, even during the whole outbreak, that if people are collaborating, they'll all agree to put the exact same link in the bio on their Instagram profile, and they'll all say, check link in bio. And the reason for that, is that using Instagram as an example, you can't actually click anything in the post, at least not as of early April, 2020. But what you can do is say to people, go click the link in bio. And what that means is they head over to your profile and that person can click the link. And if you're in a collaborative event, then everyone's putting the exact same link in their bio and they all go click it. So that is a case in point of CTA. So always, 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 always think about CTA. My question for you is what is your CTA? What are your different CTAs at different points in time? Even put a call to action in your email signature. I mean, CTAs apply in so many places and people who are running effective communication campaigns, you will be updating. This is, includes those of you who are running one person businesses, two person businesses. It's really, really important that you say, hey, have you seen the latest exhibition on the website? Have you seen the new album on Facebook? What do you have that you're doing? Have you checked out this, this video of this artist giving a tour of their studio? You know, all different kinds of things that you can be linking to in your signature, your website, different pages there, your social media campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. Think about that one. Now, secondly, putting the social into social media. There's not just one way. There's not just two, to, two ways. There are lots and lots of ways to go about this. It's all about interacting with people. And indeed, social media is a type of social networking. And therefore, it's all, actually all about engagement. It's not a matter of putting out posts into the void and just leaving them there for people to discover. It's actually about you engaging with other human beings. And that relates, actually, to my third question is, how do I get more followers on social media? There are all different kinds of ways to do that. And I want to bring those two questions together. One of the big ways is say to follow other people. That gets their attention because they get a notification and they might very well follow you back. Now they'll follow you back if you're consistently posting. That's another way of getting more followers on social media. And furthermore, whenever you are engaging with people who are replying to your posts, that's yet another way to be effective. That's how to put the social into social media and to get more followers again. So when I think about putting the social into social media, I very much so think alongside that, getting more engagement, more followers on social media. And remember the phrase, it's not quality, probably it's not quantity, but quality. I make mistakes every now and then, right? The way that that saying is often said is think quality, not quantity, but I like leaving it on the positives. So I think not quantity, but quality. And so it's better to have, say, 150 followers who are really engaged with you rather than 10,000 who are not engaged and they're even the wrong people. I've recently come acro across somebody who clearly purchased a social media profile what they can do is they can purchase somebody else's account. They can even change the handle once they own it. And that means that it appears as though they've got lots of followers. It appears as though they're really popular, but guess what? That's just surface level. This takes me back to when I was a teenager. It's not necessarily about the person who's getting all the, all the popularity. It's about like, 
what's actually being effective for what you're doing. So I want you to think about uh, some action points here is adding a CTA to your website pages, to your email signature, to your social media posts. So think about what you want people to do as a result because they're not necessarily going to be taking action on their own unless you prompt them to do so. As much as people are, are intending to support you and to help you, you need to remind them. You want to think about how to put the social into social media. So actually going and engaging with people. That's when I see people really turn the corner often as well in terms of enjoying social media. An artist from the Art Biz Bootcamp has just had some fantastic success doing IGTV. That's Instagram TV. You know, that's another nice way of engaging with people doing live streams, that kind of thing. And the third point to think about is getting more followers. Now I want you to think about getting some quality followers and how you can marry that with putting in the social and also other ways. A future topic will be about hashtags, which is probably one of my favorite topics when it comes to social media. Everyone, it's been fantastic to have you at the Be Smart About Art show. This does air five times a week. It's about 15 approximately minutes for each segment. That's Sunday to Thursday, different times, different days. And each week, each, each day has a certain three theme. So Sundays are all about kickstarting the week with Be Smart About Art. Mondays are always about what's happening in the art world this week. Tuesdays are boosting your art business. Wednesdays are Be Smart About Art member question time, which is what we've just done. And Thursdays are our special guest speaker edition. So check out our program at besmartaboutart.com. Do go check out our membership program, patreon.com forward slash besmartaboutart. And support that we receive is vital. We have, we have basically developed one strand to bring everyone through this whole period of time. It can be a challenge, understandably, and there are opportunities for development, there are opportunities for community. And so our motto at the moment is keeping it simple and supportive, remembering not only to support other people, but to ask support from your own community when you need it. So go check out patreon.com forward slash be smart about art. It's $7.50 a month for the program and you engage with this big community. And after the be smart about art show on Thursdays, we then jump into a member masterclass. That is of course a hashtag, hashtag member masterclass. It's been a real pleasure to see you today. Thank you very much. And we are here to help you thrive in an ever and increasingly changing art world. I've been Susan J. Mumford. I look forward to seeing you again soon online and who knows at some point in person too. Ciao for now signing out from Lewis, East Sussex in England. Bye now.